Today we're going to demonstrate the removal and installation of the fluid tube on the Vortex texture sprayer. First thing we're going to start with is removing the hosel. Simply remove the clamp, remove the hosel, and set it to the side. Next thing we want to do is we want to remove the clamps on both sides of our fluid tube. You can use either power tools, as I'll do in this demonstration, or hand tools work just as well. Once you remove the clamp, just wiggle it back, and the same for the opposite side. Set them aside for now. Okay, the next thing you want to do is on using the machine's own power, you'll remove the you'll remove the, the fluid tube by starting the machine, setting your, your pressure and your speed control at halfway. At which point it'll squeeze and pull out the hose. You might need to grab the hose and give it a little bit of assistance. This job's uh, easier done with two people. So start the machine. Use the machine's own power. You'll use the hose to, to force out the, the material hose to pull it out. Use the gun that's supplied with the unit by plugging it in and using the on-off switch to, when the machine is started, to force it out. I'll demonstrate that. On your new fluid tube, it does not come with a new fitting. You'll want to make approximately a three inch slice in the old tube and remove this fitting so that you can reapply it to the new tube. When installing the new fitting, make sure that you use an anti seated lubricant for easy removal on the next change out. Installation is just the reverse of what you just see. First thing you want to do is turn your pressure and your speed control down. The next thing you want to do is you want to reverse the two hydraulic hose, hoses, that will reverse the speed of the motor, causing it to suck in the new fluid tube. I'll demonstrate. Like so. Now the motor will spin in the reverse direction, causing the hose to get pulled in using the machine's own power to pull in the hose. Simply start the machine. Of the new fluid line, simply use any common household soap on the hose, and that will cause it to slide in a lot easier. Simply putting it on like so, and then installing it inside the pump. Remember, when putting it inside the unit, there are two forks. And a, and, a, and a pulley wheel. You want to make sure that it's in between the forks as it slides in. Any other way, it'll get binded up. Okay, then we're simply going to start the machine. We reverse the, the hydraulic lines, and it's going to cause it to pull in to itself. Make sure. 
Now make sure when you're putting the unit together that you don't overshoot the fitting. If you overshoot the fitting, you'll just have to push it back a little to get on top of the fitting. Tighten it down, and that tightens the clamp on top of the, the fluid inlet. Now we're going to go to the other side. Now after completing that side, you'll want to come back to this side and reassemble this hose. You want to make sure that your fitting is even with the body of the machine here. By simply doing the same thing that we did on that side, using the machine to pull it back, and then stopping it right at the edge of the fitting, then you'll be able to go re it. Like that. Again, it's very important that this fitting is flush with the machine itself. Otherwise, the hose in the back side of the rotor will get flat and cause problems later on down the road. And put the bolts on. Now remember, when tightening this, this is going to be at a natural arc. You want to be able to pull it back as you're tightening. And now we've successfully installed a new fluid tube. Remember to reverse the hydraulic lines so that the motor spins in the right direction. To check your work, you might want to stop the machine and see if you can put your hand here and see if you can feel suction. If you're feeling suction here, you've, stopped, you've completed the installation.